Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am just doing a quick video. Um, I wanted to show the screen recorder app that I use. Um, when I make my videos, I know they are basically all voiceovers. I'm not sure if at some point I'll feel comfortable enough to show myself on camera and it's not, it's only because I like to like go in public and people not know who I am. I prefer not to deal with people at all. Um, although I really enjoy making YouTube videos and responding to your guys' comments and knowing you're watching my stuff. So I don't know. I, I like to virtually meet people rather than physically meet people. Um, so yes, the the screen recorder app, along with a automatic clicker that I found that I feel like will be really helpful helpful for you guys. Um, my screen record app is DU Recorder. Um, I just download it from Google Play, and here you can see um, how it works inside. And it also has a editor. Um, where you can edit your videos, you can add two videos together, you can cut and trim sections out of a video, which is really, really awesome for a free um, app, I think. And then the little button is just like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Sometimes I use it to point at things. You are able to pause. I know you guys couldn't see that, but you can pause and then the stop button will stop your video and then this is the bottom is the camera settings. It also um, has a little time ticker there and after a few seconds it goes to the side so it's not in your way. Now the um, automatic clicker that I use is called HabiTap. It is a no root automatic tapper and I will say that I have tried almost every automatic clicker that does not require root and this is the one that's worked best for me. It does require some finagling. Um, you know, you got to get it set up right. You may need to change the interval time if that makes sense. Um, so well, let's go ahead and open it up. Or let's show, okay, 3.5 star review with 100,000 plus downloads rated for everyone. Your app is amazing. I've tried so many others, but yours makes it easy peasy. And this guy says the worst tapper I've tried. The app completely failed to do automatic tapping of any kind. Um, however, I will um, show you. Um, hmm, I wonder what I can use as an example to click on. Hmm. I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna open my emails or anything personal. Um, let's use the calculator. Okay, so first you need to open your app, if I can find it. Open your app, you will see the, um, interval settings. They're a little bit confusing to me. Um, we'll go through the instructions here. Um, thank you for using this app to automate your taps. Warning, automatically tapping is a very resource intensive, is very resource intensive and may freeze your device. For best results, only use this app on devices with four gigabytes of RAM or higher and manufactured in 2017 or later. By default, tapping speed is limited to 500 uh, millisec or minutes per second, uh, possibly, um, because anything faster will freeze your device. However, we still recommend never setting the speed below 500 ms. We also recommend only having this app and the other app that you want to open. Please close all other apps from the background that are not necessary. Now swipe up to scroll down and read more. Um, the dual pointer is 
the pro version. So um, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second when we use single point tap mode versus dual tap mode. Um, use using single point tap mode. Automatically tapping in one spot is easy. After launching the pointer by tapping the start button, just tap and hold on the pointer to drag it to the spot you want to automatically tap. And you can see how um, on this bottom, okay, now, and you click and drag while it's red, now just tap with your finger on the pointer to make it green and it will start to automatically tap shown in this example. To stop the automatic tapping, just tap on the pointer again with your finger to make sure or to make the pointer red. You can also tap on the exit button and using the recorder mode because obviously you don't need an automatic tapper unless you can record and play back the um, sequence. You can record the movement of the pointer and the taps to fully automate your tapping in multiple spots. To start, enable the pointer as before, but now you will also be able to but now you will also enable the recording option. Um, side note, I am a, like dyslexic. Um, I've never been diagnosed as dyslexic, but I've never brought it up to my doctor or anything. When I was taking the online courses um, for interior design. Unfortunately, my school ended up closing this year, like just a few months ago. Um, and that's been really, really effing stressful because interior design degrees are not offered um, almost anywhere. <laughs> um, so when I was taking those classes, I would use open dyslexic format um, in my classes and my coursework especially when it comes to numbers. If you are seeing me read a number and it's not exactly what you're looking at, like what I say is different than what you're seeing, just remember that I didn't even notice it. Um, if I skip over a sentence or read the words mixed up or jumbled, and it, like I said, especially numbers, like if it's 123, I might accidentally say 132 or, um, you know, just jumble them up. So I apologize for that. You'll, you guys will have to catch me and <laughs> watch me for that one. Um, okay, so using the recorder mode, um, you can record. Oh, okay, so down to the second one here. This is an example of the buttons, but I'm going to show you how to use it. Then move the pointer to the first spot you want to tap. Tap the pointer and then tap it again. So you'll turn it green and then turn it back red. Then drag it to your next spot, turn it green, and turn it back red. And when you're done recording, click the stop button. Um, you guys are more than happy to pause on this um, area right here because I won't be able to show you the dual pointer mode. I, I'm, it may be necessary um, if anyone has used this app and upgraded to the um, like pro version or paid version of this app. Let us know if it's worth it or not, if you um, regretted spending the money or not. I, however, have not, you know, purchased it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and we're going to click single pointer because that's the one we have access to, and it pops up a small box like this. Now, you will need to click this arrow in order, or, okay, to be able to move it, you click this bottom arrow, the gray arrow, click that, and then you're able to move it around. So let's go ahead and open up our calculator. Now we have our pointer. Hit the plus button to extend once. Click the top right arrow to extend to be able to record. Now once it's there, you can't move it. So if you need to move it again, just go like that. And I usually like to drag it around here. And I will show you how to um, use it. So to start the recording, and you want to make sure your arrow is red, to start the recording, click start. Recording started. Stop the recording when you are done. So let's put 876. 8, turn it red. 7, turn it red. 6, turn it red. And then hit stop. 
And when that's going, it's saving. So please be patient during that time. It is saving your recording. And unfortunately, it will only save one recording at a time. I'm sure the paid version allows you to save more than one recording sequence. So once you have your sequence started, Go ahead and hit play back and like I said it is a little fidgety sometimes you may have to adjust it it may miss a click here and there but as far as a no root auto clicker this was the best thing that I found um, I'm sure you guys know that I play Final Fantasy XV a new empire and when I'm sending resources to myself or to my farm or another player um, or say we have an event where transferring resources is the you know main way to get the points I will use this but I do have to sit there and watch it and pay attention to what's going on so it's not like a Knox app player with the macro readers and stuff that if I had um, a gaming computer that would be the best way to do that um, set up multi instance with Knox app player set up the macros um, you have way more setting options for that, and obviously that's for um, PC or your laptop. Um, and if you guys are interested in seeing the Knox app player on another video, let me know, and I will be sure and get that uh, recorded and uploaded. So let's go ahead and test out how well our recording worked and hit play back. seven, six, and then it stops and then it goes back again. So it will go on a continuous loop as long as you don't um, mess with any of the settings. There is a limit option here and you see the idea and this is actually working a lot smoother on here than it does on my Final Fantasy game. So maybe I just had too many apps open and running in the background or maybe the Final Fantasy game itself takes up a little bit too much processing power in order for this thing to work properly. But as you can see, it's not super quick. You know, it, you can as it will only go as fast as you can click. So if you click faster than I did, your recorder will play back quicker, if that makes sense. Um, so when you're done, just hit stop playback and it will stop. And then if you want, if, as long as you do not hit record in between that, you can hit playback. And it will continue to... Oh, it's not clicking anymore. Oh, I, you know why? Because my, um, there's too many buttons or numbers. So you can stop it and start it again and it will work. <clears throat> and then when you are done, just hit exit and there you go. Voila. Hmm. Okay. I just had to make sure I wasn't being attacked or anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that's helpful, um, kind of explaining how to use that. I know a lot of people on Final Fantasy ask about them. Um, I would never want to risk my account after the amount of money that I've spent on it and time and effort. Um, so I usually don't specify anything on there and when you are be very careful about the way you word things you would never want to have your ca account suspended for something small like that when it's not doing anything any faster really than you could on your own it's just you can run that and not have to physically click the button like I can do dishes and still send resources you know what I mean my hands can be wet but I'm still paying attention to what's going on and it's not cheating because you could do this with or without the tapper and it's not giving you any more than what you would have gotten <clears throat> without the tapper um, 
So Habitap available on the Google Play Store. Um, it's a very small app. It does not take up too much space. And I know some people have their negative reviews about this app. However, I do not. I think it's awesome. I think um, it is perfect for a no root auto clicker. And as soon as I stop this video, I will be giving it a five star rating. I didn't realize I hadn't rated it yet, but I need to. They should, um, the developers should know how I feel about it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my new uploads. And you never know what kind of randomness I'm going to upload next. So it might be a spirit box. It may be an app review. It may be testing an app. Or it may be something different altogether. So, you know, we're just a bag of tricks over here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy your week. Um, my son is on his last week of school. So we are super excited about that. And if your kids are already on summer break, I hope they have an awesome summer break. Um, yes, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.